Short update on the Mac, on the uh, Hackintosh, the uh, PowerBook G5. Uh, what, what I wanted to do was a stress test of running, because sometimes, uh, back in the day, people used to actually uh, do uh, videos on how high, how fast, or how stable the, your, their systems would be while loading every app in the application folder. And there's only 28 applications in here. One second. You can see right there the application folder is only got has only got a 28 items. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push Command A, Command O. I'll show you what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm having to do this on my desk because it's easier. Okay, you say Command A. Command is uh, the Windows key. It used to be Alt, but I switched the keys. I just flipped the. I just tore, took the keys off. I just go to Command A, Command O, and then there we go. Yes, I do have uTorrent, so I don't really give a shit. And it just crashed. I'm assuming. Um. Okay, shit, still loading. Some applications don't really like running like this, so therefore they just immediately close. So you can see um, Firefox. Uh, don't really know what that is because I never really used it. Automator, I believe that's what it's called, and Calendar are all still uh, trying to launch. Now you have. Uh, these two mail and messages because you have this one team to sign in so yeah everything is logged in so and there is everything so yeah and the easiest way to close everything is just push command alt escape it basically if you've ever used a Windows PC which most likely you've have you've had you have it is the uh, basically control panel, except that it's mainly it's not to it's not in in when Mac OS ten there's a I think it's called um try to find that but there we go um let's move that down okay. It, that says, it, it activity monitor is is a basically control panel, but force quit applications. This window is basically just to close applications. Same for this app, but it's also to show you your uh, uh, system status, like your hard drive usage. So let's actually do that. So as you can see, we we only have. Yeah. Uh, 5 megs of RAM, 5.9, 5 5.8 megs of RAM free, and and I'm using 512 megs, which this thing is only has 512 megs of RAM, sadly. Um, disk activity, uh, it's being, no, that's not disk, disk usage, no, that's not, never mind. Uh, and then hard drive usage, surprisingly, with everything still running and bouncing and all that bullshit, it's still handling it pretty well for a single core, or running as a single core. It's running with a 87 to 95% idle, so that's pretty good. I was thinking that it would be using a whole lot more, so let's just go into here. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go to, uh, memory, bring this up, make sure you're on the top, and then just continue to click, um, uh, enter, and it will just close the applications, so, yeah, there are some applications that require you to, like, say, save or whatever, or or that will try to overwrite you from closing it. There we go. And the system is in. 
we now have 173 megabytes of 181 megs of RAM. So yeah. And then for the uh, CPU, it is all mostly idle, 100% idle. So yeah, more videos to come of this little thing. So yeah, it's kind of fun to fuck around with. Um, sorry for the language. For my younger viewers, I even have any younger viewers. But the next video will probably be me trying to get it online through Ethernet. Because this computer is all that old that it has modem and Ethernet. One of those is. Yeah. I was good. I was correct. Modem and Ethernet. But, uh, yeah. And then you. I don't know what exactly what that is. I never. It looks like a serial. So, and then you got VGA. We might try that. Since I have a VGA monitor down here. Um, I've already tried doing a. Uh, trying to see if the hard drive. I mean, the DVD drive would read a DVD. It does, but it did, but uh, since the drivers aren't properly installed, because this thing has a GMA 900, it it's trying to load the GMA 950. Like I inst I installed those because I installed them the uh, 950s instead of the 900s originally, so that kind of messed it up. But whatever, it kind of it just doesn't know what the uh, capability of this GPU is, so the and the CACs can't find the proper. Uh, hard the uh, the actual GMA 900, 950 um, video processor processor. Um, we will try the uh, SD card and the USBs. Some of the USBs as you can see right there are kind of messed up. I don't even I don't think that actually works. And then you've got uh don't believe no, I know that uh, this is probably S video and then you got another USB. And then on the back you get nothing. So yeah. Other than that, the system is running really well, and like that uh, the aftermath, which was really was not really aftermath. It was just saying after what happened after after the setup because I couldn't fit in the main video. Um, I won't be able to do any video with uh music in it. So yeah, that's kind of because I won't get copyright. So yeah, it's no big deal. So yeah. Subscribe if you want to more if you want to see more random junk content and uh, Comment down below what you want me to do with this thing. I was comped um, I was thinking about putting a uh, Windows try putting Windows 10 on it Even though I know it probably wouldn't even run very well. So yeah